Raised in a creative family, she has always loved to draw and paint. Today, she's a graphic artist, web designer, illustrator, and animator. To keep up with the ever-changing world of computer graphics, our guest continues to learn new skills by taking night classes. The Humanities Mass Communications Department at Norwalk Community College presents The New Directors, the show that introduces you to television's future writers, directors, and personalities. And now join our host, Nat Sandberg, to meet the next new director, Wendy Bacuzzi. Thank you for joining us for today's edition of The New Directors. All of the people involved with this program are students in the television production course and are directing, switching, controlling audio, operating cameras, and acting as talent for the first time today. The guests you are about to meet are students who, when not on camera, are behind the scenes working hard to bring this program to you with as few mistakes as possible. Each student will write and direct three different productions. This program gives them the chance to talk about themselves the productions they have completed, and give you the chance to get to know them and watch their progress throughout the semester. Our guest today is a student in the TV and Production One class. Now, I would like you to meet our guest today, Wendy Bacuzzi. Hi, Nat. Great to have you here. Thank you. So you've been taking courses here. Can you tell me a little bit about them? Um, yes, I recently took a motion graphics class um, and I'll show you those projects. Uh, to start, I graduated Norwalk Community College with the Web Associates design class. Uh, I got lots of work making banner ads using Flash. So I like doing the animations and that led me to the motion graphics class. Um, right now you're looking at an infographic about the brain. I wrote the script and made a storyboard. Uh, the project was made using Adobe After Effects. The images were made in Photoshop and then imported into After Effects. And then you place them on the different layers you know, to give it the uh, 3D effect. Um, I used all stills. I, my son did the narration using a microphone hooked up to my computer. I then synced up the sound with the action and added background music to fill it out. And this was fun to work on. I used um, information I had about a report I did facts about the brain from a psychology class and I used them um, so I had the material already and it's after effects so the little um, lightning effect in the brain there uh, what you see there is one of the many effects you can use in the program uh, this next project is called uh, kinetic type animation you use a scene from a movie and then animate the text this is the funny scene in Moonstruck where Loretta tells her father she's getting married again. And there are lots of references to bad luck in the dialogue. So I used it as my recurring theme to tie it together. I made the images using Adobe Illustrator. Wendy, could you tell us why you decided to take the TV production course? Yeah, I wanted to learn um, video and round out my skills and take my motion graphics to the next level. Mm, excellent. And uh, what values and what elements have you uh, gotten out of the course? Well, I learned to use a video camera and to edit using Avid. Um, I learned basic shooting techniques. I learned to make a short movie or sequence. And now I'm learning TV production in a team setting with a really fun group. 
Thank you. We, uh, we take that as very much as a compliment. Can you tell us about the projects that you worked on that you con conceptualized uh, and directed? And I'm talking here about the elevator sequence, the uh, Fall Nature Project, and the Orange Project. Yes, uh, I'll show you samples of those as well. Um, this first one is the uh, elevator sequence. And I shot it um, with my son, Sean, who is a student here at NCC. And he's a full-time student. So I used him as the actor. We met after one of his classes. And first I made a storyboard. This helps you plan out your sequence. I took medium shots and close-ups and then tied them all together to make one continuous sequence. Next is the fall project. This is a lesson in using all the many camera techniques we learned in class. I started shooting at 2 p.m. in the afternoon and as the afternoon got late, the light became more and more beautiful. So most of the footage you see was shot between the hours of 4 and 5. This is known to photographers as the golden hour. The next project is the orange project. And this was um, a creative project where the only requirements were to make a movie where you find an orange and lose the orange. So my idea was to use a treasure hunter with a metal detector at the beach. He finds the orange, which represents a precious treasure. But in his haste to find more, he loses the orange. If we had to whittle down the projects to one personal best, name it. The orange project. It was a lot of fun to make because I made it with my sister and her husband, Chris. My sister, Karen. Um, and she's a photographer and she manned the camera, finding the best angles and lighting. And Chris played the part of the treasure hunter. He did a great job as an actor and was a big help keeping the scenes consistent. I was the director. I used a detailed storyboard and field shot list. We shot the whole movie in about two hours. I had well over 100 shots. I edited them in Avid and then added music. And here's where he's fantasizing about finding more oranges. In reality, he just had the one. And looks for more. Which he then loses. <laughs> if uh, you say you've learned a lot of interesting and important things in this TV production one course, uh, what would you say are the most important things uh, that you've, you're kind of taking out of this class and mm -hmm. how do you intend to use them in the future? Mm -hmm. Well, time flies when I'm editing and shooting and I really love doing that kind of work. So um, I can now make movies for websites and presentations. Recently I met with a potential client and showed him the Orange Project. He liked it and we talked about how we could add multimedia to his website. So this class has already paid off for me and I know I'm going in the right direction. Wonderful. Today we got to meet someone who has shared with us the skills she learned in her recent classes. She plans to further develop her motion graphics work. I'd like to thank our guest Wendy Bacuzzi for joining us today. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed meeting one of television's future directors, and we hope you will continue to join us each week to watch our progress. Thank you, and have a great day. This has been The New Directors with your host, Nat Sandberg, directed by Tae Joon Byung. I am your announcer, Lauren Bixby. The New Directors is a Norwalk Community College student production.